Sunza Initiative is led by Tibetan students for Tibetan students. Sunza Initiative is an opportunity for us Tibetan students to really give back to our community just as when we do their support. Sunza Initiative gives Tibetan students additional support in the pursuit of higher education in the U.S. while fostering a community of future Tibetan scholars and leaders. Applying to college in the U.S. can be a challenging process, but Sunza Initiative is here to help guide you through your journey. Everybody wants the best of education, but may face challenges in getting into their dream schools abroad. Sonsa Initiative is committed to guiding the Tibetan youths in exile in the process of their college application. To speak more on this initiative, I have the co-founder of Sonsa Initiative, Tenzing Chonzom. Tenzing Chonzom La Tashdile, it's really nice having you here on Tibet TV. Welcome to the show. Tashdile, thank you so much for having me on the show. Tenzing Chonzomla, when did you all first set up the Sonsa Initiative and how did the idea come to you? Right. So we first started our initiative in the summer of 2020 during the pandemic. So this period was where we all graduated high school and we had just finished up our college application process. So we just came up with this idea because a lot of other students decided to do similar mentorship programs. And we thought this idea and the model of a mentorship program would really benefit the Tibetan community, specifically Tibetan students in India who wanted to study abroad. So how many members are there in Sonsa Initiative? Um, we initially started with three, uh, which was the three co-founders, uh, uh, Namgyal, who is a second year at Brown University, and Denzi Ginze, who is also a second year at McAllister College. We initially started with three, but after we had our mentorship program for the first year in 2020, we started to expand our group. And now we have around 15 people that work with us actively, and we do have a board now. This also includes um, our mentors as well. All right, that's really interesting. So according to your experience, what is the major challenge being faced by the Tibetan youths who wants to pursue in higher education? And uh, what kind of help or guidance is being provided by the Sonsa Initiative for the interested Tibetans to achieve their academic goals? Right, so a lot of the Tibetan and TCV counselors focus more on helping students go through the process of applying to Indian colleges and higher education um, institutions in India. And so there's less formal resources for those that want to pursue higher education in the U.S. and study abroad. So we try to fill in that gap by providing our knowledge from our firsthand experience of applying to college in the U.S. and um, trying to give that resource for free and everything voluntarily. So another challenge that um, we have is just in general, a lack of representation of Tibetans in higher education. And that contributes to a lot of students being less motivated to apply in the U.S. because it's something that um, maybe they have never, um, maybe they don't have experience doing it. They don't know a person that has applied to the U.S. Um, and in general, we want to make this more common and we want to make it less stressful and make it more um, less, less frightening. Yeah, so exactly. Even I feel that because of the lack of awareness, even though there is a lot of potential in the Tibetan youth, they are not being able to apply in the universities that they prefer. And I'm really glad the Sonsa Initiative is actually doing that. And if an individual needs to apply, like, you know, become a mentee at the Sonsa Initiative, so how he or she uh, become a part of it? So our mentorship program starts in the fall, usually when the college application process happens. And so the students that apply to us apply through our um, Google form that we create during this season. And so it's our mentee application form. And so for 2021, the application has already closed, but we are still helping people if they DM us and uh, through Instagram or um, express that they want help and have a plan to apply in the US. Um, but generally we do it through our application um, online. So basically what you are doing is you are giving them, uh, you're showing them the path and you're telling them like, you know, what kind of uh, ways are there to get into a college and also like guide them towards what kind of scholarships are available for them to apply in the particular universities, right? Yes. So um, one, that's one thing that we do um, in our organization is we kind of have a twofold approach of trying to help um, attain this goal. 
So one of the approaches is creating a more widespread awareness about applying to colleges, free resources, online content, workshops, like workshops about the Berea College scholarships, or even if it's UWC application process, or in general, like what is the common app? What is the personal statement? How do you write a good college essay? Anything ranging from those topics, even to financial aid and scholarships. And those are all online and free. And we'll, the other approach is is more individual and one-on-one mentorship. So in this, we have our mentees who applied um, kind of express what they want in a mentor, and then we match them to our mentors um, based on their similar interests and academic backgrounds. And having a similar background will make them more likely to um, succeed in that relationship of guidance. But everything is sort of revolves around the mentee, and we try to cater to what they need. Okay, so that's wonderful. And it's been a year since Sonsa Initiative started. So what response have you been receiving from the Tibetan youths or from your mentees? So we've had a generally very positive response from um, the people that attended our workshops or have done this mentorship program. And in general, we um, have responses like that we've helped them learn a lot more about what the college application process is, made these steps that seemed very like unknown make them more accessible or just in general, like raise more awareness and um, make people more understanding of like, oh, this is the process. This is what it, what I need to do. And just the general steps to getting started to applying to college. We have helped a lot of people learn more about this and um, apply as well. And some of our mentees have even decided to want to help other mentees. And so we have become mentors as well um, and joined our program in that sense wanting to give back to the community. Okay, so talking about uh, the impact um, made by the efforts of the members of the Sonsai Initiative on their mentees, um, I would like to introduce you to Tenzing Yarfella, who is going to share his experience of um, being a mentee in the Sonsai Initiative and is now a mentor in the Sonsai Initiative. Hello everyone, my name is Tenzing Yarfel and I'm currently a freshman in St. Lawrence University. Um, and last year I was a part of Sunza Initiative as a mentee um, and basically I got paired with a mentor from Sunza Initiative um, and my mentor's job is basically to some sort of like help me understand the brief timeline of um, college application. Um, she helped me um, go through the college process, she helped me prepare for my interviews, my standardized tests like SAT, Duolingo, or TOEFL and many other things and also also help me in my structuring my personal essay and these are all all things that are really important for us college 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 process and i got a really big help um in being being a being a part of the menti mentor workshop of Sensei initiative and this year um since i'm enrolled and i'm currently in a us university i think it is my job um to sort of like give back to Sensei initiative and the upcoming mentors of mentees of what I learned over the year and that's why I'm currently a mentor for Sunsa Initiative and I hope you guys join us as well. Okay, thank you Tenzing Yarfella for sharing us your wonderful experience and now coming back to Tenzing Chunzomla. Uh, so Tenzing Chunzomla, you started this initiative when you were all teenagers and we all know that you are all still pursuing your studies. And we also know that, you know, in Sunsa Initiative is not just about mentoring but then uh, you all the founders, even though you guys are from different time zones, you have your own meetings and then you plan and then, you know, like you have your own social media pages where you have to update everything that's going on in Sonsa Initiative. So th there is a lot going on even in um, Sonsa Initiative. So can you tell us how are you managing with your studies and also mentoring the Tibetan youth at the same time? That's a great question. So. Um, to be honest, we're still kind of figuring out that balance because um, we've just had one year of experience through our mentorship program. But since we're starting again with our um, second year of this mentorship program, we're kind of still learning how to balance um, our school and also the work with, that we do with Sonza Initiative. So generally in our free time, we try to work as much as, much as we can. Initially, when we had three co-founders last year, we kind of um, took all the front work with a lot of the marketing on online or just advertisement of our workshops. And then also creating the content, slides, PowerPoints, the videos, 
creating forms for people to sign up with and a lot of these other things and also getting mentors to gather and also making ment mentees apply and also making sure that everyone's working together. So there was a lot of work that's going on. And so balancing that was kind of a little bit difficult, but I think now that we've grown and expanded our Sonza initiative to more of around like 15 to 20 people that help us. We've kind of divided up the work. We have a board of directors that um, take on different tasks that need um, to, that need to be done. And um, we try to meet uh, a couple times in a month. So generally every week or every two weeks we meet, whether that's for our mentor check-ins, where we check in on our mentors and see how they're doing, any tips and advice they can give to other mentors on how to help their mentee. And we also have um, more social activities for our mentees to make, um, to foster community building, especially when applying to colleges in the U.S. can feel very uh, isolating when there's not a lot of people around you doing it. So we try to foster that in the weekly community. And those um, take up some time, but we try to fit that in our schedule and also try to balance our studies at the same time. That is so nice. It's really nice that, you know, um, that you guys have taken such an initiative, which is actually benefiting a lot of Tibetan youth. So in the past one year, how many Tibetans have um, approached the Sonsai initiative for further studies? So initially um, in our mentee program, we didn't have a lot of mentees apply and we weren't very known. But as we started to grow, we've um, kind of focused more on like creating online content um, through our workshops, YouTube videos, Facebook videos as well that get posted there and Instagram. And we've reached out to a lot more people throughout this past year. And so I think our most recent big event was our Sunza Summer College Workshop where we had around 130 people sign up and we this workshop went across three days. And so we've had around 50 people show up each day and learn more about the different tasks of applying to colleges, the timelines, the essays, everything else in between, how to get a recommendation letter and just figuring out majors. And a lot of these topics that seem very difficult, but when you break it down and have help and guidance, are a lot easier and simpler to understand. Well, a little bit easier, but more tangible to do. You're right, Chinzamla. And education is one of the most important thing, and it is the basic human right of every individual. And uh, you know, and it is very interesting because um, because how you guys are inspiring the other Tibetans. You know, like you said, like most of the mentors, uh, mentees have become mentors now and they are also helping and voluntarily working in the Sonsa initiative. And what is more interesting is that this initiative is led by the Tibetan youth for the Tibetan youths. Thank you so much, Chanzomla. It was lovely having you here and all the best for whatever you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for have, uh, letting me have a platform and to share our work about Sonsa initiative. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.